our news at 6, after an ICE detainee at the Richwood Correctional Center committed suicide, people from different backgrounds and races joined together to protest against ICE. NBC 10's Maya Hudgens talked to those who are currently missing a loved one as they are being held in the Correctional Center. We're always going to be minorities. It's always going to be that way. It's never going to change. While America advertises freedom, officials say there's over 60,000 ICE detainees being held captive, separated from family and alone. There's a specific way of being, a way of looking for you to be accepted in the United States. Many gathered to protest ICE at the Richwood Correctional Center where their loved ones have been locked up for months. My significant other has been in there for eight months. Um, and he doesn't, he doesn't show any threat. I'm an American citizen. I have everything to show that um, I would be supporting him through all the situation, through all the paperwork, and they don't care about that. Protesters say immigrants just want to escape the crime in their country, not start it here. They don't, they, don't, um, they don't represent a single threat in this country. Others calling out the meaning of a statement we all know as Americans. If in God we trust, we gotta love everyone and share God's love. Whatever your race or ethnicity, supporters said it didn't matter. Working together was the goal. To come and see this, not only us Latins, but us Americans are actually here doing something. I'm very happy. Locals say this is a small effort to change the reality for immigrants in Richwood. It takes time to listen to people's stories. Imagine yourself in that position that your grandkids, that your kids are suffering from that. In Richwood, Maya Hudgens, NBC 10, your local news leader. The protesters made it very clear that they are not bashing officers or management at the Correctional Center, but ICE itself.